G'day mate, tonight shouldn't be too much different, other than the animatronics being a bit more active. It's kind of linear how it works, but every night you're going to get more busy. One thing you probably want cleared up is what the happenings were in the past. There's a lot of stuff that hasn't been discussed, but there is the origins of the animatronics in this building. They came from the original Fredbear's Diner. That place is long gone now, it was left to rot. After multiple murders at Fredbear's Diner in 85, those animatronics have never been the same. How do I know all of this? I was only 11. This child was having a party. I wasn't invited because I always used to pick on him. But I always wanted to go to Fredbear's Diner, so I snuck into his party. I hid myself in a parts and services room where these suits that I later found out were Springlock suits. A man inside Springlock lured these kids into the parts and services. I had hidden myself, but I witnessed five children murdered by this man. I just, I just heard him call himself Uncle Afton. I, th I think that's what he said. He stuffed these kids into these suits that are here with you today. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and one more. I believe the souls of these children linger in these animatronics, and that is why they are so strange at night. They are forever trapped. Look, mate, don't tell management what I just told you. They will fire me. It does sound like baloney, but I just want to make sure they don't hurt anyone. But anyway, I'd be there with you now, but I'm tied up for the next few days. This may sound crazy, but I've spent my life putting this together and getting a job here to try and watch over them. I have solved the puzzle. I don't know what I am to do next, but... Uh, uh, damn, I've said too much. I'll let you get back to work. Don't let them in. They're vengeful, mate.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 